everyone. I'm hello everyone. I'm Julie Webb. I'm with the Digium Marketing Department here at uh, Digium, and we are here today with Astros Live, and very excited to have with us. Pete Engler, who's our channel marketing manager and also heads up our Astros marketing. And David Duffy, David Duffy who's, our who's our community community manager, manager for Astros, Astros. And so today on Astros, so today I'm very Astros, excited, very excited, excited to have also Russell Bryant. Russell, Bryant. Russell, Russell is, is the is principal the software principal engineer software at Red Hat, Red Hat and also a longtime long friend time. of Digium. So thanks everyone for being here today. So yeah, David, thank you very much for having me. David, won't we uh, just jump right in? Yeah, let's do that. So, of course, one of the reasons why Russell's joining us today is because he's uh, successfully submitted a talk for Astrocron 2015 that's going to be in Orlando, Florida. We're all looking forward to that. And, of course, Russell, you were a keynote speaker at last year's Astrocon. We're, we're, so we're, we're very grateful that you've come along uh, and going to deliver a regular session for us in Orlando as well. Um, but there might be people looking at this asterisk live who are not aware of your history with asterisk uh, and or Digium. So I wonder if you could just set the scene a little bit by telling us how you got involved with asterisk in the first place and some of the positions you've held. Oh, sure. So I, I got involved in asterisk in, the, uh, in 2004, uh, and that was while I was in college and I started working on um, asterisk for fun uh, and started learning a lot about it and, uh, and then joined uh, Digium shortly after that. And then I worked uh, on Asterisk full time for for several years, and I uh, I was one of the the people lucky enough to um, lead the uh, development of the Asterisk project for a few years in that time. So I've been involved in the project since 2004 in various capacities, and I uh, I still uh, try to participate today in some degree uh, by participating in discussions here or there and and, and, and attending Astrocon, of course. Yeah, that's one of the very gratifying things is knowing that you've already led the Asterisk project and been involved in many other ways. To see your names, uh, your name pop up on the list uh, from day to day is, you know, just a very gratifying thing and really reflects a sense of community and your ongoing participation in it. So uh, that, that's great. Now we we uh, said you're coming along to Asterisk 2015 in Orlando. Um, Oh, actually, but before we get to what you're going to talk about, we should maybe identify where you are now, Russell, and what you're up to right now. Oh, sure. So um, I work uh, full-time for uh, Red Hat, and at Red Hat I work on uh, the OpenStack project primarily. And OpenStack is an open-source implementation of cloud infrastructure. So if uh, I, a really quick way to describe that would be if you're familiar with Amazon Web Services, Imagine an open source implementation of that type of infrastructure that you can run on your own hardware. Um, that's that's what I help build uh, these days. And there's actually a lot of interesting um, uh, ties to to um, asterisk and and, and um, communications applications to that type of infrastructure, uh, which is uh, a bit about what I talked about last year at Astrocon and also related to what I want to talk about this year. Yeah, we're we're very excited not only to have you along as Russell Bryant, the well-known asterisk person, but also to have a member of the Red Hat team is a big uh, and exciting thing for Astrocon. We're, we're, we're real excited. So maybe you can move along now and tell us what you're going to be talking about this year. Sure. So so I talked um, just a, a bit about uh, last year again. So I talked about um, about about cloud infrastructure in general and, and OpenStack as well. Uh, but um, I, I want to, and I also talked about you know, this it wasn't necessarily about asterisk specifically, but what I think is about important for people interested in asterisk for building applications with it is to sort of take a broad view and, and not just look at asterisk, but also what what environment are you going to try to use it in, and what are the things happening in that environment, and what things can you take advantage of to be more successful with the use of asterisk. And so um, I want to take sort of that that same sort of thought this year and look at a particular part of it. And in particular, I want to look at what's what's happening in, in networking. Uh, what and there's uh, something called software-defined networking, which is sort of a, a movement of um, really interesting technologies for being able to uh, dynamically uh, program your network and the way your network behaves. Um, 
uh, you know, in, in software, uh, which I think has some some interesting applications for for, for uh, communications applications. And so I want to talk a bit about you know the actual technology there, and then also um, how uh, how it relates to, to to communications applications, and maybe even some. Uh, I may even have uh, some some things to demonstrate on some sort of proof of concept integrations with Asterisk itself. Uh, I've got some uh, some ideas brewing, so but you'll have to come and see uh, what I, what I'm able to come up with. No, oh, that that's great. We know that everybody that comes to Astricon always loves the demo of whatever nature, whether yeah. it works or not. Yeah, I've got a dangerous demo in mind, so <laughs> um, hopefully I can uh, I can get that whipped up and, and working. Well, that's great. Now, I, I don't want to hog the airwaves here, so it looks like Julie and Pete are there just itching, itching to ask questions. <laughs> so let me just turn it over to them for a moment. I have a question for Russell. So, Russell, being a developer, what what can you tell people is one of the best things about attending AstroCon from a developer's perspective? Sure. So um, I think if you're a developer, um, being successful in whatever you're building uh, you know, a, a huge part of that is, is connecting with other people that are building interesting things and and learning from their experiences and taking that back uh, you know, to to further uh, your own work. And I think um, so. The uh, I you know, it, it, Astrocon's been a, a, a super fun place for me to go and to connect with other developers and learn from them. Uh, and that's why I still want to still still want to attend today. Um, there's a this a, a very bright group doing uh, really cool stuff there. So um, it's a great opportunity. So speaking of fun, what's what's the most fun you've had at an Astrocon? Um, well, there's all kinds of there's there's all kinds of different types of fun. Um, you know, the, I, I always enjoy um, just the opportunity to, to learn things because that's uh, from from other people. Um, but at, you know, since Asterisk is a is a community thing, uh, it's it's really fun to put faces with names. Uh, and, and really connect with people uh, because I think that uh, that makes participation in the project um, more fun throughout the year because you've got uh, you know a bit more of a connection to everyone that you're working with on a daily uh, basis. And uh, thinking along those lines, Russell, uh, your previous Astrocons, of course, you've you've attended Astrocon uh, in many different guises as you know, casual visitor, speaker, keynoter, and uh, project leader. Um, can you think of any particular sessions you've attended in the past that kind of stood out and uh, been special for you? Um, that, that's, a, that's a great question. Uh, there, there's been a lot of them that I've enjoyed. What uh, The things that I really enjoy are when people get up there and they're, and they're willing to take a risk, and, and risks come in lots of different forms, um, You know, whether, that's, uh, wh whether it's dangerous demos um, or just getting up and, and willing to open up about what they're doing, because a lot of times... People could be doing really interesting work with Asterisk, having it integrated into their business, and they could keep that all to themselves. But they're they're willing to stand uh, stand up and get out there and share information on what they're building um, uh, to to benefit other people uh, in exchange for getting that sort of information back for themselves. So you know, everyone willing to, to get up on stage and open up a bit um, in, in general. You know, th those are I have lots of good memories like that. I, I think you've hit a very, very important nail on the head there, that people are prepared to share. Um, yeah. and, you know, when, when people do share, they're not necessarily saying, you know, I'm the best or this is the best way to do something. They're just coming out and saying, this is a particular way I achieved something. And sometimes there's discussions that follow that. But uh, the, the important thing is for everybody's mutual benefit. And there's not that kind of, you know, I want to keep this stuff to myself. Um, and that, that's a very important part of a community project. And you see it outworking in in real life, there. Absolutely. So that's uh, you know that's the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is is opportunity for me to share like my my piece of what I'm working on these days, um, get feedback on that, and then also try to uh, learn from what other people are willing to share. And I think that's you know, what everyone should be looking forward to. And, so and, Russell, uh, I have a sorry, question I have, Russell is. Um, what would be your best advice for someone who's it could be their first time attending Astrocon? What would be um, some advice you would share with them about how to get the most out of attending? Sure, that's a that's a great question. I think um, part of it's uh, uh, doing you know doing some research ahead of time. Uh, take a look at um, the schedule. Uh, figure out which ones look like you, uh, 
that might be the uh, to get the most out of it. You'll be be quite surprised on how much there there is that uh, that you'd learn from. And I think the other thing um, that's that's very important and, and perhaps even more important is to take advantage of the hallway track, as it's often called at the at the conference at conferences. I mean, um, the sessions are great, but there's just a huge amount of value in striking up conversations with people. Um, so uh, try to open up and, and, and don't be afraid to, um, to talk to people in the hallway, whether it's people you know um, uh, or, or not, uh, and, and find out more about what people are doing. And that's always um, often you know, one, of the, one of the best parts and, and most edu even incredibly educational as well. So, uh, and and you do, who knows what kind of connections you'll make when you do that. So uh, go there and, and take advantage of the opportunity, whether it's between sessions, at lunchtime, uh, in the evenings, just just try to talk to to people, um, and uh, and see what comes out of it. No, that's, that's great. That's great advice, uh, Russell. And we should actually say thank you to Julie because she engineers that hallway track. She makes those spaces possible and creates the opportunities for people to uh, speak in those areas uh, with all the exciting things there are out there, like drinks and cookies on the odd occasion, to. Uh, <laughs> lubricate the uh, interactions there. Well, it's my pleasure. So uh, I, I had uh, another question for Russell, and that is, uh, Russell, uh, uh, thinking, uh, continuing to think along the lines of somebody that might want to come along to Astricon, uh, possibly for the first time, what should they be telling their bosses in terms of a justification for such a trip? Um, I think it's all about... Uh, I mean, no matter what your role is in your business, I think there's a, a lot to be gained, and, and, and it's significant value for your for your company. Uh, if you're a developer, the the expertise that you'll gain or um, to be able to bring back and improve the work you do um, is is worth you know, a significant amount. Um, uh, what even if you're if you're involved on the uh, the business side, connections to to other people, uh, other companies um, doing similar work that you might be able to develop a business relationship with. Uh, is important. Um, you know, there's 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 huge opportunity um, for for a bit of for a bit of money and a bit of time uh, that could pay dividends for for years to come. So uh, I think that's a, a, a wor very uh, worthwhile investment to make. Or they could just drag their boss along because it's going to be in a great location this year in Orlando. So that's right. Uh, drag the boss. Drag the family. I think um, I, I think everyone should come on down. Indeed, and and Julie. Um, perhaps you could tell us about the special ticketing arrangements for groups of folks to come along. Well, if you have a group of folks who come along, we actually, I'm going to make sure I have the right price. Um, if you have four people who come along, you can um, register them with the Diamond Package. And the Diamond Package is $1,800, and you get breakfast and lunch and all of that great networking opportunities that David mentioned, as well as some... Um, amazing content um, so we would encourage everyone especially if you're gonna have um, several folks from the office to look at doing the diamond package versus the individual package. It's a significant saving over individual past prices there isn't it? It is. It's, it's well worth uh, doing the uh, trying to get some extra people from your office to go because it's a significant uh, Very much reduction in price. The phrase I always use when people ask me about Astrocon I say, if you're serious about Astricon, sorry, if you're serious about Asterisk, you will be at Astricon. It's the one must-attend event of the year. That's right. So, um, what, are, what other questions do we have for Russell? Because I have a, a closing question, but I don't want to use that closing question until we get to the close. Well, Pete, I, I don't have any more questions for, for Russell. You guys have done a great job today. Pete, do you have anything? No, I don't. So go ahead and wrap it up with your closing question. Okay, Russell. This one's one of those like job interview style questions, and it is. Oh, okay. And it is. <laughs> what else would you like to tell us? What else would I like to tell you? I think. Um, I think. Uh, I think everyone should. Uh, if, if you have, um, if you're serious about asterisk, um, uh, I think I think you absolutely do need to be there. Um, uh, I, I'm serious about asterisk. Uh, I think it's important. Um, I, you know, I still, uh, uh, still, uh, am a huge fan of the project, and uh, it's, it's, um, 
and its impact on, on the industry over the years. And I think uh, everyone should uh, have should be signing up and, and making their plans to be there. So um, and, and come say hello. I'd love to meet some new people. Great. That, actually, that's one of the wonderful things as well, isn't it? Although there's the the, the networking stuff uh, and you know ha hanging around in groups and discussing things, it's also nice to be able to say a quick hello to people you know that have uh, done different things within the community. Uh, just last year or the year before, there was Francesco Pryor, who's responsible for Chan Dongle, which is all about using those little GSM USB sticks um, as uh, channels in Asterisk. That was good to have him along. But, Russell, I'd like to say that we appreciate your seriousness about Asterisk, and it really is a testament to the project and to you personally that you have a continued involvement, and we're just very grateful for that. Well, thank you very much for, uh, for having me along and inviting me back. I'm, I'm looking forward to being there and looking forward to seeing you all again. Well, great. And we're looking forward to seeing everybody as well. So I guess it's time to close down and say thank you very much on this edition of right. Live. All right. Thank bye, you, everybody. everyone. Bye-bye.